In meteorology, an air mass is a large body of air having nearly uniform conditions of temperature and humidity at any given level of altitude. As air masses move, they directly influence the weather in the regions in which they pass. Weather is the state of the atmosphere at a particular place during a short period of time. It involves atmospheric phenomena such as temperature, humidity, precipitation, air pressure, and wind. Absolute humidity is the measure of water vapor or moisture in the air regardless of temperature. It's expressed as grams of moisture per cubic meter of air. Relative humidity also measures water vapor, but relative to the temperature of the air. Relative humidity is cited in weather forecasts as it affects how we feel temperature. The Humidex scale is a temperature index used to describe how the weather feels to a person by adding the effect of heat and humidity. Dew point is the atmospheric temperature below which water droplets begin to condense and dew can form. Dew point varies according to pressure and humidity. During warm seasons, the dew point temperature can be a good indicator of how humid the outside air feels, as well as how likely it is to rain or storm. Dew point is also considered in general aviation to calculate the probability of potential issues such as icing and fog. In this investigation, your focus will be on weather conditions, including absolute humidity, relative humidity, and dew point over three different temperatures of water. What is dew point and how does air temperature and humidity influence the chance for rain? This is humidity and dew point. Let's get started. For this investigation, you will need a wireless weather sensor and three beakers or cups of similar volume. For today, I'm using three styrofoam cups and I prepared each with three different temperatures of water. I have room temperature, ice water, and warm water. It may be a good idea to put these on a tray to avoid any spills. Okay, so let's get started. I have my three cups set up and now I need to select sensor data and make sure I'm connected, which I am. And for this activity, we are gonna to wanna to choose the weather dashboard. All right, so I have my dashboard set up. I'm gonna put my weather sensor over the room temperature water to start. And you wanna make sure that your weather sensor is not actually touching the water. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select start. All right, so I'm starting to record data. And when I do this, you're going to watch and observe and record the temperature, humidex, relative humidity, absolute humidity, and dew point into table one. And you can pause the video if you need to, to fill out those pieces. So I'm gonna give it just a second to calibrate. A couple seconds. I can see that my temperature is pretty steady. Humidex is still going up. I'm going to give it about 10 more seconds. All right. So I'm going to name this. This is our first run. Right now it says run one but I'm gonna put room temp so we know which one to refer to. All right, and then you're gonna to wanna to move the weather sensor over now to your ice water. And you're gonna see this piece right here. That's something that you wanna make sure is over the water. Okay, let's click start again. You're looking for the um, temperature, humidex, relative humidity, absolute humidity, and dew point again. And again, as this runs, if you need to pause the video to record your data, go ahead. All right, let's start. See a lot of these data points have decreased.
Give it about 10 more seconds. Okay. Then again, I'm going to stop collecting data and rename this run. I'll just say cold water on this guy. And then that leaves our warm water. Again, move the weather sensor over. Start collecting data. Again, looking for temperature, humid X, relative humidity, absolute humidity, and dew point. Our data points are now increasing. Going to give this one a little bit more time to stabilize. Again, about another 10 seconds. I'm still increasing, so I don't want to stop it just yet. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. All right, excellent. And then let's rename this run so it's easy to refer to. Run three now becomes warm water. All right, so you're going to want to make sure that you've recorded data for all three of these runs into table one. So during the data collection piece, uh, we made sure to save each one of these runs and we labeled them uh, with each temperature of water so you can reference them quickly. So if you wanna switch from room temperature to the cold water run, you just click there or warm water. Now you'll notice that our dashboard is in US customary measurements right now for Fahrenheit. If you would like to switch that to metric, it's very easy to do. Just click here and switch to metric. All right, so using the data from table one, as well as the information located within the introduction portion of the video, you can now answer the questions found on your student handout. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of the characteristics of air masses and how they affect the weather over the regions they pass.